So this is what I'm thinking right now. You can have the color black and uh, they say that black is a mixture of all the colors. Uh, but you also can have white. Uh, you also can have bright black where it's just black, but it's just a brighter shade of black. And so if you keep making the black bright and brighter and brighter, you'll get gray. But essentially, if black is all the colors, then you could just say that red is a brighter color of black or a different shade. You could say that yellow is is just an, another kind of brighter black, that, different from red, but still brighter and the bright black. And uh, they say that black is all is a mixture of all the color colors so you know so that's where I, that's where i got it from and uh and white is the absence of all colors but white light is basically a rainbow i don't know it's just something to think about but the way i see it is like Black might be, uh, the color black might be like represent, uh, representation of nothing. Either that or white is a representation of In nothing. In physics, uh, black is the absence of color. I looked this up on Google and it said that. But in art, black is a variation of all the colors. So if you look at it in a physics standpoint, black represents nothing. And if you have nothing, then, yeah, but in art, it's a variation of all the colors. It's a mixture of all colors. So if you take both of those ideas and you have uh, black being nothing, but black being everything, you could say that uh, everything came from nothing. But so the the art standpoint like the art the art point of view is is i feel like it's more philosophical and as towards the physics point of view is more more scientific so maybe maybe we have to connect those things to figure out if really you can divide by zero or if you can um get something from nothing